Hey everybody, welcome to Techmark Gaming. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to connect your mobile hotspot to your PlayStation portal. Now, this is great for gamers out there who wanna use their monthly hotspot data that's supplied monthly from their carrier. In this tutorial, I'll be using my iPhone 16 Pro Max alongside my T-Mobile Magenta Max plan that supplies 40 gigabytes of data each month. Now, if you don't have T-Mobile or you're outside of the US, then these are the supported carriers that could potentially work. Now, before I get into the video, be sure to smash that like button and comment below and let me know if you guys are enjoying your PlayStation portal and what games have you completed so far. I've been enjoying the Spider-Man franchise. I completed Spider-Man 1, 2, and Miles Morales on the PlayStation portal. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Techmark Gaming so I can be recommended to more gamers like yourself. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get into it. For the folks out there that plan on using the PS5 to stream games to the PlayStation Portal via remote play, then having a solid home Wi-Fi connection is essential. I have this Aces Wi-Fi 6 gaming router that's mesh compatible. I use it alongside this AX3000 dual band Wi-Fi range extender that I place all around my house so I can keep the connection strong. And if you can't do that, you can plug your PS5 directly into the router. I recommend that you have a fast internet connection. These are my speeds. Now, before we connect the PlayStation Portal to our mobile hotspot, here's some preparations that you need to take. First, you need to restart your PS5, the PlayStation Portal, your mobile phone, and your router. But if you plan on using the PlayStation Portal to stream directly from the servers using PlayStation Plus, then reset your phone and the PlayStation Portal. Once done, you're gonna go into the settings and you're gonna turn on airplane mode for about 10 seconds. Now you can turn it off so we can have a fresh cellular connection. Now we're gonna go into general and we're gonna choose about. At the top of the screen, you can see that it says name. We're gonna click into that sub menu so we can change the name to something simple. A lot of people out there have apostrophes in their name and that could potentially throw off the process. So take that out and put something simple. Moving along, we're gonna go into the personal hotspot menu and we're gonna enable allow others to join. Below that, you will see that it says Wi-Fi password. You need to create something that's very simple. You guys can actually use the same Wi-Fi password that I have here to make things simple. Scrolling down further, you guys can see that there is a maximize compatibility toggle. You wanna make sure that this is turned off so it doesn't hinder your network performance. Lastly, we're gonna go into the control center by swiping down on the top right corner. And as you guys can see, I can click into the sub menu here. And what we wanna focus on is the personal hotspot toggle. This says discoverable right now, but over time, this does disable automatically. So we're gonna keep an eye on it during the setup process. Moving along, we're gonna go into the control center on the PlayStation portal and go into settings. Now you can click into the network sub menu and we're gonna go down to setup internet connection. You wanna choose setup manually. And the first thing that you need to do is type in your network name or SSID. This is the name of your phone that we named earlier in the video. Now you can click done. And the next thing that we wanna do is go to your security method. You're gonna click into that sub menu and choose either WPA2 or WPA3. Either one works for me, so test it out and see what works best for you. In this example, I'ma choose WPA2. Next, I'ma scroll down to password and put in my mobile hotspot password that I had earlier in the video. Then you can click done and scroll down to IP address settings and choose manual. Moving along, we're gonna go into the IPv4 address sub menu and type in these exact numbers as you see on the screen. Those numbers are 172.20.10 dot five. Then you can click done and scroll down until you see subnet mask. Type these exact numbers that you see on the screen. These numbers are 255.255.0.0. Then you can press done and you're going to scroll down until you see default gateway. You're going to type these exact numbers that you see on the screen. These numbers are 172.20.10.1. After, you can press done and scroll down until you see primary DNS and we're gonna click into that sub menu and you're gonna type the exact same numbers that you see on the screen. Those numbers are 172.20.10.1. Then you can press done and scroll down until you see secondary DNS. 
this is what you don't want to change. You want to keep it at 0.0.0.0.0. .0 After you can press done and scroll back down until you see proxy server. You want to make sure that it says don't use. I repeat, you want to make sure that it says don't use. Moving along at the bottom, you want to enable connect to hidden network so it can find our phone's mobile hotspot. Now before you press done, here's the most important step. As you guys can see on my iPhone, the mobile hotspot toggle has been turned off automatically. This is most likely a security measure to keep your network secure. So you want to turn that back on and as you guys can see, it says discoverable now. So let's go ahead and connect it. On the portal, I'm going to click done and give it about a second. As you guys can see, the iPhone is now recognizing that the portal is connected to the mobile hotspot. And now you can connect to the PS5 and game on the go. And if you don't have a PS5 and you want to stream from the cloud service, you can do so as well. And if you guys want to see how this performs on my mobile data, then I got you. Here's a quick gameplay test of Spider-Man 2. Now, if this method didn't work for you, that means that your mobile carrier or your device is a lot more complex. This is where I would recommend that you pick up a mobile travel router so you can use this with your mobile hotspot and get the best connection that you could possibly get on the go. There's two travel routers that I recommend and they're from the same company. If you're on a budget, then I recommend that you get the SFT1200 from GLINet. And if you want to maximize your mobile hotspot data, then I recommend that you get the AXT1800. If you're interested in anything in this video, then I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description. And if you found this video valuable, be sure to smash that like button and comment below and let me know what games you're enjoying on the PlayStation Portal or your PS5. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Techmark Gaming so I can be recommended to more gamers like yourself. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Deuces.